the impact of debt crisis on Greece is uh, very severe. Uh, the, the public debt is used as a vehicle, as a lever in order to put forward the austerity measures and to change the character of the society. That is to uh, increase the power of the ruling classes, of the small elite, of the very uh, rich people and also the very big corporations, international or Greek, and to deprive uh, uh, labor rights and also income from the broad masses. So they keep dismantling the welfare state, they keep cutting wages and pensions and they say that this is necessary in order to uh, tackle the debt problem. However, the debt as a percentage of the GDP constantly increases because recessionary policies decrease the GDP, that is the denominator of uh, the whole index. The crisis is being managed in a way that uh, the majority of the people, that is the working people, the unemployed, the small entrepreneurs and other people who live on their uh, small corporation or their uh, wage are being uh, worse and worse. That is, these people, the majority of the society, have to pay for the crisis. Uh, they are the ones who suffer from uh, wage uh, re reductions, from pension reductions, from unemployment, from the concentration of capital in few, ha in few hands. On the other hand, the state, through these policies, overprotects the very rich and the big corporations. We still have a situation where a small minority is being undertaxed in Greece, uh, has a very big um, um, uh, subsidies from the side of the state, and on the other hand, we have the majority who cannot pay for necessities, who are being overtaxed, who see the fear and the risk of unemployment every day in their job if they are not already being fired from their work. I strongly believe that there is a, an alternative for uh, the whole of Europe. This is not a war, this is not a conflict between one country or the other. This is not a conflict between Germany and Greece or France and Germany, Italy and France and so on. We have a plan which deprives rights and income from the majority of the people for the benefit of the few. So we have to reverse these policies. On the one hand, we have to stop austerity, we have to serve and to protect the welfare state, we have to seek for social cohesion and for the um, common goods of the majority of the people, and of course we have to tackle the debt problem on, a, on, a, on the European level. There are many technical solutions which have been described by many o o economists, even by some o who do not belong to the left. Uh, we have to uh, press, we have to push the ruling elites to change course. We have to convince people that the coming uh, European elections are of very great importance in order to change the relation of forces in Europe, to have progressive uh, parliaments and progressive governments all over Europe, which is the beginning for a change of policy. It's a, a matter of social justice. The people who can pay for the crisis must pay. Uh, this means that we have to introduce a wealth levy we have to have a fair, clear and just tax system. We have to support the people who are in need. We have to save the welfare state. We believe that a government change in uh, Greece or in any, any other country in Europe is going to work like a democratic domino 
for a change all over Europe.